My name's Rusty Sutton. I'm the redneck boat guy. I build two-cylinder racing outboard boats. I build the props to go on them, and we also sail a 33-foot catamaran named See Y'all Later. Hope you enjoy the channel. Well, good afternoon. This is Rusty. I'm back in the redneck garage here. Uh, it's warmed up outside, kind of got nice. So, uh, hey, I'm going to come out here and do a little bit of work on the props, do some thinning. Um, that's mostly what I've got left to do. I'm trying to kind of rework every prop in the box except the two, right? The the Mod 80, the, our best Mod 80 and our best Mod 1 and 2 wheel. Um, trying to improve the box, but kind of show you my setup here. I'm going to work on these props here. Um, now this one is uh, that Malone wheel that uh, the last one I worked and I've changed it up quite a bit, but it's always been real thick. So I'm going to, you can see where I thinned it there a little bit, but I'm going to continue working on that uh what's this one this is the r75 i think in it yeah yeah r75 that i built for a buddy of mine and like i had said before it's uh got a crease right down through here so it, it's developed a, a flat spot that i want to take care of i'm going to blend all that out and uh this this one the same way this was my big tulip and i've changed it up and it's kind of got a flat spot so those are the three props I'm going to be working on. I brought my uh, vessel 80 wheel out just to kind of measure. And I'll show you how that works. Uh, what I do is I've got this little set of calipers right here. Uh, <laughs> the readout quit on me, so I, I need to get me some new ones. But that doesn't make it any different here. I brought this one out. I brought this caliper out here so I could check it uh, and, and see what the thickness is. Uh, this is, again, my best uh, 80 wheel. But I wanted to say, okay, well, let's get it to where it barely goes on there, right? And that was always about 30 thousandths for me. So I can set it based on what I know is right and then match with these other props to that. So I'm going to use this more as a guide than anything else. Yeah, the tools I'm going to use, I've got this little uh, air angle grinder. Uh, it works pretty good. <laughs> kind of noisy, but it works pretty good. And I've got these little uh, pads that screw on and screw off, you know, that's the way they, I think I got them at Home Depot, something like that. This one's a 36 grit. It's an 80 grit and it's just a sanding pad is all it is. It's flexible and it'll fit right on the, on the little sander there. And I've got these uh, Scotch-Brite pads. They do a really good job because they're, they're, they're a little more flexible and I, once I get them thinned out and used a little bit, I can, I can blend with them quite a bit. But I like these. These do a good job. And they're small, you know. Uh, I can get in close to the hub and, and work it that way. So that's the tools I'm going to be using. And uh, I guess let's get on to it here. Let me get this uh, smaller. Well, no, let's start with a bigger one. Bigger sanding pad, the 36 grit. And we'll knock some of the... Uh, flatness out of those blades there. All right, get to work here. You, one, of these th one of the things you gotta be real careful with on these, uh, these really heavy grits is not touching the edge of that prop. Boy, you could take the edge of that prop off in a heartbeat. <laughs> and I've done it many, many times. and Had to cut the blade down on all of them, but you gotta be careful there. In fact, I think I'm gonna change this smaller one to try to stay away from that edge, just diameter wise. Just not let it get over that edge and see how it does. See if we can get in there and, and work on it. Yeah, it doesn't take long to cut that prop. You can see it's done pretty good damage already there. Uh, and I do like the way that I'm covering the whole from covering the whole area that I'm working. And yeah, it's looking a lot better already. So uh Mighty fine. And this one doesn't have far to go. Working on another blade here. You know what? Blade's jumping a little bit. But it is. Yeah, that's looking a whole lot better. Yep. You can see that one needs it and that one's getting it. So it's working out. It doesn't take long with a sander and then you go with finer and finer grit, you know, to knock it down. All 
All right, it caught back up. Let's see what we can do here. Yeah, that would have done that one. Stayed on it quite a bit. Yeah, it's a nice even flow there. Looking a lot better. Oh yeah, got the flat spot out of it. Still need a little bit right here. Bring my markers here and I can mark it. It's okay, I need a little bit more right there. I'll work on that a little bit. took the safety trigger off this thing because I was always having to figure out how to get it and all that. And it, this ain't too bad. It's not going to get me. If it does get me, it won't be too bad. I bled before. Ain't no big deal. All right, let's see what we got here now. Yeah, that looks pretty good up in there. Maybe a little bit more right here lower. Right in there. But not a lot. <laughs> All right, well, I got the surface with a medium uh, finish on it there. I've got some of these green pads that I'm going to put on it to smooth it out a little bit better, and then we'll polish it out. But I got most of the knuckle bumps off. I'm liking the smoothness of the surface. I'm liking that it's, you know, that it's nice and flat. I say flat, ain't that flat place on it. But it's nice and progressive everywhere. Uh, yeah. All three of those blades feel really good. Still got, eh, might still have a little bit of a high spot right there. I think I will work that before I, uh, before I go with the final finish. So let's do that. Uh, I thought we'd have time to work on all these props tonight, but probably just going to be working on this one, getting the face finished out, and I uh, might do a little bit of a thickness check on it and uh start that but it, shoot it'd be a two hour video if i did the whole thing two or three hours so let's work on this face a little bit more and then uh try that uh green pad for a little finish work yeah yeah a great video for you here tonight I'm sure that's hot, but it looks really good. It looks really, really good. All right, just as a, for a quick reference, let's put this uh, green one on there that's a little bit more limber and a little less, uh, less gritty. Maybe as you can see, it's getting a little finer. Still got some lines in it, right? Uh, a little flow pattern there. But you know, this is what I started with and it's, it's a little grittier. So it's starting to knock the high spots off with that green pad. 
and uh, blades are getting thinner too. I can feel it. Uh, feeling better and better. So uh, we'll let that air compressor catch up and maybe run it across that grain a little bit to knock those down before we start polishing so our polishing won't take so long. But I like running with the pattern of the water in there where I can get that uh, grinder in real nice to shape it. And then we'll go cross grain to knock some of the high spots off. You can help it smooth out too a little bit with how much pressure you're putting on that on that pad. But it's getting good. Uh, that prop there, that, that one blade is getting better and better. And I could polish it out from there, but it's, I, can, I can still see quite a bit of grain. And uh, that green one will take most of that off. A little bit hard to get up in here with that green one without getting back on the same grain pattern. But it's working out. But that's what it takes to, uh, to work one of these props. You can see all the knuckle bumps on the back here where I've been building acceleration shelf into it, beating it up, you know, putting that off, putting it on the brass block up here and beating it down, uh, which is actually, of course, beating it up. It's changing the, it's changing the uh, arch here and how much pitch is on the leading edge. So... When I go back to the water, I'm going to have several blades that have different leading edge. Um, all this, I, I'm staying with all the same tip, right? Same tip angle, about 8.2. But I'm going to change up uh, some leading edge and some trailing edge, and I, the very similar props, and go out there and mess with them and see what I can change without losing acceleration. So that's kind of the plan. I'm liking the heck out of that, buddy. All right. Let's see what we can do. Yeah, it's getting there. You can see that that's shining up a little bit. And you know, this one's still got all of the big grainy marks in it. That one does too, from that, from that sanding blade. But this one's kind of polishing out a little bit. It's got uh, some pretty good polish in here. Still got a little bit of grain sticking out there. And a lot of people don't worry about that. You know, they'll go ahead and polish it out and leave a little grain on it. And uh, I hadn't decided how good I'm gonna try to make this blade yet. But uh, this is my big tulip. This is what I'm gonna try to uh, try to beat my uh, my bad boy fireball with. It, 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 we we didn't do any thinning or anything like that. But uh, we'll get to that. We'll we'll talk about uh, thinning and making a blade. Yeah, it's it's going on there. I know that's about thirty thousand. And uh, with taking some off that front, it's already starting to get thinner in places. So. To recap, what we did tonight was I went in there and I took that, uh, you know, that flat spot out, right? I took it out with sandpaper, and then I went with the heavier grit uh, Scotch Brite pad, smoothed it out, and then I went with a finer Scotch Brite pad and just about got it to where I can polish it. You can see there, I still got some grain marks that I want to take out of that one. Of course, this one's all grainy, but I got the the, the basic shape like I want it. And once I get that done. I'll start working on that back. I can feel there's a ridge right there that needs to come out of there. So I'll be working on the back and making that. And like I say, the back is, is once I get the face right, I'm not, I'm not worried about the back. I'll just work thickness on that backside and it'll take care of itself. All right. Redneck Boat Guys signing off.
Thank you.